Good reapings everybody, welcome back to another episode of Serious Creepers and Vegetables in Vivo Tech Pack. Um, as you can see, I'm in some sort of a cave, in an underground square. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, I decided to dig down, like I said last episode. Um, we are below that little temple or shrine, whatever you want to call it. And just for now I dug out this, uh, I believe it's 10 by 10 Uh... Yeah. Yeah, 10 by 10. Uh, probably should make this uneven. I don't know what's up with even numbers now. Uh, but uh, I was kind of busy. Um, last episode I mentioned that this thing up there, and actually this might be dangerous. I know there are a lot of, <laughs> a lot of enemies here. I, I definitely need to make this more secure. Um, I try to go, go outside at night, and I tell you why in a bit. Come on, spider. Oh. It's another one. I think that's a creeper too. I have to be careful. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, we definitely have to make this more secure. Uh, but last episode I mentioned how this was even, this building. Well, I made it uneven. <laughs> um, ooh, voice crack. I just spent about an hour, a little bit less, um, rebuilding this thing. So basically what I did is knock out everything except one of the corners, I think it was this one, and extended it all by one into uh, both directions. So now we have uneven doors, uneven numbers, better to work with. Um, the entrance is in the center now too, so it's all good. I also added those water streams on the edge. Not sure... Oh, there you are. Not sure if I like them or not. I think I do. Um, they looked a little bit more bulky before because they had like full blocks. Kind of scared here. Uh, but I replaced them with stairs and I think that looks a lot better. Yeah. Um, I actually installed Optifine earlier because I want to play around with a shader pack. Um, I might not use this all the time because my frame rate suffers quite a bit <laughs> from it. Um, but it, it looks really nice and I want to give it a try. I'm also recording was a different software right now. Uh, I, I can't decide which one I want to use, so I'm gonna try out a few and uh, see which one I like the most for making this a lot easier for me to record things. Uh, but let's just uh, enable the shader. So this is the one I like, the Sildes Vibrant Shader. And I, I use the light version because the medium one, oh God, <laughs> because the medium one makes it uh, too uh, bright. And already you can see this looks in my opinion, amazing. Um, the lava gives off some light. Actually, a lot of things give off, give off light. Even if you hold a torch, you can slide off, sort of see that it illuminates around me, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, when I record and I'm outside, it's not terrible. I usually stay over 30 frames per second. Uh, it just feels a little bit jittery on my end. You probably won't uh, notice in the video since it's 30 frames per second. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks amazing. The water looks a little bit weird like this when it's like flowing. Uh, I think it looks awesome in an ocean. This is kind of strange. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna try this out. Try this out at night just to see what this building looks like. Uh, but the yeah, installing Optifine seems to change the lighting a little bit. I wonder if that's ah yes, this is what it's supposed to look like. It was a little bit darker. Optifine makes it brighter. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what I did. And while I was digging out those things, there were actually uh, spawners inside. Uh, some of those cobble blocks below had a redstone torch. I'm not sure why. I couldn't find anything that would trigger it. So I don't know why. Uh, but I believe this corner and this corner had a spawner inside. But there was a pig spawner, which is kind of interesting. I accidentally broke one. Um, and if you break a spawner in this pack, you actually get uh, you actually get this broken spawner. And what you can do is, if you build an Ender IO uh, spawner, you can combine those things to make uh, like an electronic one. Let's see, uh, you can power the spawner to to spawn them. Uh, where is it? Da -da -da, is it this one? No, that's reinforced obsidian. I saw it earlier. Uh, it's somewhere in here. <laughs> it looks pretty cool though. Uh, I could probably just 
Search for sp oh, I think I just saw it. Nope, not Ender Spawner. Come on, delete it. And I was an awesome mod. Yeah, that is powered spawner. Uh, so you need. It's not too complicated to make. Those things require emerald and some vibrant alloy. I really like how the uh, the alloys look like in this in this mod pack. Look at the colors. So pretty. Uh, not too bad. I don't have a lot of ender pearls though, so I can't do this. Uh, but the other spawner I took using uh, those cardboard boxes from uh, Mechanism, and those are the ones I use to move as well, to move my base, right? Uh, the stuff in here. So they're very, very cheap to make. Uh, they they require four, what are they called? Wood pulp or sawdust, in this case sawdust. And you get that if you use the Mechanism Precision, precision uh, Sawmill. Um, it just turns logs into six planks rather than four, and it gives you a sawdust. And sawdust is pretty cool. Like I said, you can make those um, those cardboard boxes, which lets you pick up any block. And you can also make like paper out of it and stuff. Uh, so, really useful. Uh, so I did that. So we do have a pig spawner. And I want to probably build a farm outside. Let's see. I made a to-do list of things I want to... Uh, wanna check out today or at least in the upcoming episodes uh, but maybe we can oops quickly come on oh those are ladders I'm an idiot <laughs> I need fence uh that's how you make fence right 20 that's not nearly enough luckily we have a lot of wood from the precision sawmill it's a very loud machine a lot of machines and mechanism are very loud, but I like it. It sounds like something is working, you know? It reminds me a lot of the um, uh, the the machines early in like tech it uh, packs uh, with uh, industrial craft. A lot of their machines were really noisy, and I really like that. A lot of people don't, <laughs> but I can understand why. Uh, so yeah, I added this little pass here. Yeah, I want to extend this. But I ran out of smooth stone, and that's something we probably have to do to uh, work on today. Uh, but why don't we, just for now, actually we should probably find a middle. So it's a spawner, so it spawns like 8.5 by 8.5 or something like that. So let's do 4 in each direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. So spawner goes there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. One thing I don't like about this mod pack <laughs> or uh, newer mod packs is that there are a lot of mods in here that add um, those flowers and lots of grass and seeds and stuff it's it a it blocks your inventory really quickly like look at that you have all those little flowers oh do you see this and hear this the first time that happened, it scared me quite a bit. Um, but that is a effect from Songcraft. Songcraft has a new system called Warp. And Warp is kind of like if you research something, a forbidden magic, and uh, a lot of like researches now are forbidden, um, you gain Warp. And that's the permanent effect on your character. And the more Warp you have, the worse the effect gets. Um, so this is like a beginner effect. It doesn't do anything. It's just like a nervous... I don't know what it's supposed to be. Like you're nervous or... Uh, you have heart problems. Or I don't know. Let's see. There it is. And we got pigs. Look at that. Awesome. So now we get food. You stay in there. Um, they should spawn even with the lights on. This is a pig spawner. Uh, but yeah, it's a songcraft thing, and there are some really nasty effects, but uh, we're going to look into that later. I haven't really seen any of those yet either. I just heard of a few. Um, but yeah, so we got that going. I have to pick spawner now. Really cool. So I actually never had a... I wish it was a cow one, to be honest, because cows are really useful. I need the leather. I'm, I'm always in need of leather. Uh, let's put this away. Let's probably sleep if I can. Not quite yet. So I made a to-do list, and you can see I have a lot of seeds. Put that in my flower box. Come on. Uh, I made a to-do list. <laughs> I'm prepared. So these are some of the things I want to do. 
Uh, set up picture spawner, done. Um, so we want to install our power again. So I'm going to move my uh, windmill on the roof. For now I'm going to do like a temporary tower too. Uh, and then I'm going to set up my machines again so I can make more smooth stone. So I can finish my base. Let's actually sleep real quick. And um, two things or two mods I want to get into now very soon are forestry bees. Because I, I looked at it a little bit and I always tell myself I want to do it. And I never really do it. So this time we're going to start early so that we uh, can start breeding bees very early on and then just do stuff with it. I, I watched some tutorials. I think it, I know what to do at the beginning at least, but we'll see. And I want to look into Applied Energistics 2. That one changed quite a bit. Um, it looks a little bit more complicated now to be honest, but then again when the first one came out it it was very confusing too. Uh, it just takes a while to get used to it, but once you once you know how to use it, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so we're gonna look into that too. I'm not sure if I can actually set up things yet. Do I have some string in one of those? There we go. Uh, before we do this though, let's make a storage bar or a few storage barrels and a golden bag. I have this one bag here, but I realized that's not very big. And we can actually make golden ones, which um, hold twice as much, I believe. That's an apple. <laughs> there we go. It's just a little bit of gold, diamond chest, and wool. So it's not terrible. Wait, what was, what was the other thing? Reincarnating. Oh, I don't know what that is. Maybe you keep it when you die or something. Cool. Uh, so let's do that. Let's actually start with the barrels, because I have a lot of, like, uh, wood and gravel, dirt, uh, stone... So we're going to make those uh, better barrels from Jabba, I think. Let me see. We could also do the mechanism one. Um, they just look a lot better. And they they need one of those electronic things. I think I have a few. And cobblestone. Or, I believe some expansion has some now too. Uh... I don't know what they're called though. Can I? Are this cash? Yeah, I think those are the ones. Basic cash. Oop, there goes my phone. Where did you go? Basic. Creative. Basic cash. Capacity ten thousand. Tin. Oh. What's the other one? Twenty oh forty thousand. But that's inva. I don't have inva. Or at least not a lot. I have a lot of tin. Okay, let's do those. Never never use them. I hope they don't need power. You know what? Uh, I think it was a lock. Uh, let's just make one so we can see if it needs power or not. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's use cobble. Oh, there you go. Did I put it? Okay, let's see. It doesn't show me how much is in there. That's interesting. And I left click, you get a stack. Shift left click, you get one. Same thing. Yeah, it doesn't show me how many it has. Hmm. It's not too nice. <laughs> Oops. Because the other ones always show you. Oh, it could be. I'm using Optifine, and I noticed that with the Java barrels, the wooden ones, uh, I don't always see the contents of it. Oh, it, it like. It flickers a little bit. So maybe that's just for testing. Let's try out the mechanism ones too. They're a little bit more expensive to make. Uh, they're very cool. And let's get. Yeah, uh, let's use gravel. Oh, yeah, this one works. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember how much they can store though. I have to double check. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might read more upon those things, uh, but for now I think that's good. I mostly want to store my cobble and, you know, all those blocks that take up a lot of space. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna research that, but for now that's okay. Storage barrels made. Uh, golden back, you're next. Golden back will be really useful. Let's get some gold and a diamond. Oops, one, not twenty-one. 
And can I remember the rest? It was four. I have one wool here. I don't think I have more. I have string though. Uh, let's use that. Let's double check. Uh, nope. Don't see any. Okay. So four wool like this, I believe. Oh, we need to make the the gold block first. Let's make a second crafting bench. I always do that, and I need a second one. Uh, if you put a crafting bench in your inventory again, you get a crafting station from Tinker's Construct. And those are a lot better. Actually, let's put it in again, and you get a crafting station without the legs. Uh, it's just a little bit neater. Uh, those are amazing because, as you can tell, the items don't fall out if you exit the screen. Which is really useful if you need to go grab some more items. Was it like this? No. <laughs> uh, wait. No. I feel like I'm close. I might be missing something. Oh, it's a chest. Oh, yeah, of course. It needs a chest. Duh. Okay. We have exactly eight left. Perfect. Golden bag. And let's see. Yeah, this one is a lot better. Okay, that's awesome. Should have made that one right away. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's done too. I might... Let's see what's in here. I have my jetpack in here. Which is not very good, Sony. That lets someone. It doesn't last very long. Um, I have some other nice things. I have a few more spawners. A whisper and a cave uh, spider one. Oh yeah, I can show you real quick the warp thing. So, oops. It's gonna take a few seconds. Uh, come on, load. Ooh, don't crash. <laughs> for, for some reason, the first time you open the uh, the, song, uh, the Songcraft book, it takes a while, probably because of NEI. Uh, so you can see some researchers now have this purple effect around them. And it says this is a forbidden no knowledge, mostly harmless. Uh, so every time you research those, you get a little bit more warp. And eventually, it just adds up. So there's minor... So yeah, I, I researched a few things. They even have elemental arrows now, which is kind of awesome. I might make this bone bow and try that out. Uh, but we get into that later. Alright, so we have our bag. We have our barrels. Please stay in there. We have our pig farm. And uh, we don't have much time left. I was surprised how the episodes get so long. I always watch other people play, and they always get so much done. Maybe I'm talking too much. Um, but let me, uh, let's see, let me gather some things, and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's uh, go onto the roof. I don't know why I'm using locks <laughs> and not bricks. Um, and we will just make a temporary pillar. I made some scaffolding from Industrial Craft 2 very cheap and okay they still work the same just have to break this one okay so you just left click on an existing one and it builds this little tower so we're gonna go all the way up there and this is the center so we need to remember that uh where is my ladder hold on it's on Oh yeah, it's right below here, and it's attached to this side, so I think I'm going to move the cable down on this side. Okay, I think it's getting dark. Um, so we're going to place our wind turbine up there again. I wish you could climb faster. I played, um, what was it called? Material Energy Cubed? I don't know what the name is. Uh, it's like a, it's like a mod pack too. Like a challenge one. Eh. Oh, whoa, well, what? Okay. Place it here then. And it has... Uh, let's see. Uh, it has a ladder that's really fast. I don't remember what mod pack it's from, though. Alright. And it's our windmill. For some reason, I don't hear it. Hmm. Might be something in the config. 
Power 193 is not very good. We are only at 116Y. Um, the higher you go up, the better it is. But it should be okay for what we need. Oh, there we go. Now we hear it. Oh, because I didn't attach a cable. It's so loud. I love it. Okay, can I hold shift on those? No. Oh, God. Uh, okay, let's do, it. <laughs> let's do it a different way. There's no way I can... Why can't I hold shift on those? That's kind of weird. Uh, let's just pillar up instead. Hopefully this works. So these cables are from Ender.io. Um, they're not too expensive. You need three of those conductive iron, which is just iron and redstone. Uh, and you get, you know, for three ingots you get eight cable. And you also need those conduit binders, which is... Uh, oops, how do I get back? Which is just gravel, sand and clay. You get eight. And then one of those melts into four. So you get quite a bit. Uh, the reason I, why I'm using those is, well, A, it's from Ender.io, and the cool thing about Ender.io cable is you can occupy, or multiple cable can occupy the same space. So if I have like a conduit here and an item cable and a fluid cable, for example, they can all be in the same block, which is amazing. It saves so much uh, room. Um, also, the, uh, oops, the, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, ooh, the thermal expansion mod in this one, in 1.7, does not have any sort of cable yet. It, uh, so there are no uh, conduits or fluid ducts or whatever. Uh, so we can't use those. I hope no one sneaks up on me. Alright, we're good. I only have three left though, that's not enough. <laughs> Oh god, let's go downstairs. I don't know if I have more of those cable, but I need to hook it up. I might have to hook up the machine upstairs to make more. Because you need the alloy smelter. I have more of this stuff. Uh, you can also use the mechanism cable. Uh, but they require steel, and making steel right now is a little bit annoying. I have one. <laughs> Uh, okay then. Well, I think I need to set up some machines before I start. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, look at this pro setup here. <laughs> I just moved my alloy smelter up so it connects to the cable I have. And I'm making some of this conductive iron. So like I said, it's just iron and redstone. And uh, it shows you the recipes and everything. And with this guy, you can switch between alloys only, furnace only, which means it only smelts things directly, or all smelting. So it does whatever it can do. Um, so this combining those is an alloy. But if you want to combine like sand with, I believe glowstone is something, maybe I could be wrong. Um, then you want to set it to, yeah, here you go. Or glass and glowstone. There's some recipes that you, where you could like smelt it, but you could also combine it. Oh yeah, I see. So you don't want to smelt just sand it to glass, you want to combine it with glowstone. You would set it to alloy only. Um, but so we should have 17, okay. Let's see if that's enough. We'll go down here, I'm gonna have to open up this. Let's go whoop, carefully. And it's the last thing we do really quickly. Let's get our conduit binder. And wait, I need one more of that uh, conductive iron. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Get a bunch of those. I don't mind making a lot anyway, because they're pretty awesome. Uh, so we want to go up here. Just going to do the same thing. Oh yeah, 51. That's plenty. So we're just going to make a little... It's not the best setup, uh, but for now it's good enough. We're going to... Come on. Oh. Uh, we're gonna change this up later anyway. And another thing you can do with those whoa, is uh, you can make. Uh, I don't know what they. Oh god, that was bad. I don't know what they're called. Let me double check. Uh, the thing is only called Endio. Allows remote access to nearby blocks. I don't even know what that is. Interesting. This is facade. I don't know what they call it. Painted, uh, might be something like that. There's a block you can make that 
turns into any other block uh, you want. So you can hide those cables inside, you know, like cobblestone or stone or whatever you want uh, by making those ghost blocks and just put them in there, which is really nice. This mod is awesome and it's, uh, it's a very good, it's very good for the, for an early start too, because it doesn't require a lot to get started. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So now we have power down here. Like I said, we need to clean this up. One day we're gonna use a uh, wireless one. Uh, but yeah, we can. We should be able to set up our machines here now. I'm just gonna move this over to this wall again, just for now. Put down our box, and there you go. We have power. So I can go ahead and grab all those machines I brought over, set them up. Probably move this ca uh, this camera, this cable along the wall, so it's not like in the middle of the room. Uh, and uh, that should be good. I'm gonna go back to the old base to get some other things. And we made this, and we made this. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for this episode. So next time we will definitely go look at AE2 and the bee stuff. I'm gonna go collect a bunch of bees off camera. And uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>